So for part A, we're asked to calculate some function values from our graph. So first one is g of negative 2. So when the input is negative 2, we see our output there is 0. So g of negative 2 equals 0. g of negative 1 equals 3. g of 0 is not 4. Notice the open circle. G of 0 is actually 1 here where we have the filled in circle. So that function value is going to be 1. G of 1, again an open circle, so we don't, that's not our output. Our output's actually going to be up here at 3. So G of 1 equals 3. And finally, G of 2, we get an open circle, no closed circles for 2, so that's going to be undefined or does not exist. So we'll just put U and D for undefined for now. So that's how we can turn, determine outputs from the, the graph. Now in part B, it wants us to find, to complete the sentence as X gets closer and closer to, but not equal to A, G of X gets as close as we want to what? So the first one is for A equals negative 1. So here's our input negative 1. So we're going to look at what happens with our graph. As we go into negative 1 from the left and from the right, and we can see that our y values or our outputs are approaching 3. So as x gets closer and closer but not equal to negative 1, g of x gets as close as we want to 3. So the limit of g of x as x approaches negative 1 is going to be 3. We'll talk more about limits in later activities and write up the notation. Similarly, as we head towards 0 from the left, we head towards 4. And as we head towards 0 from the right, we head towards 4. So as A gets as close as we want, as A gets closer and closer to, as X, excuse me, as X gets closer and closer to 0, G of X gets closer and closer to 4. So even though g of 0 does not equal 4, the limit as x approaches 0 of g of x is going to be 4. Last one is as we approach 2. So as we go into 2 from the left, we go in towards 1 in the y's. And as we head towards 2 from the right, we head towards 1 in the y's. So as a gets closer and closer to 2, g of x gets as close as as x gets closer and closer to 2, g of x gets closer and closer to 1, or as close as we want to 1. Even though g of 2 is not equal to 1, the limit is going to be 1. Now part c, look at what happens at 1. As we come in from the left, our function values go towards 3. As we come in from the right, our function values go towards 2. So that means the limit is not going to exist at this point because we're not going to the same output as we come in from the left and as we come in from the right. We're not getting as close as we want to 3 from the left and the right, and we're not getting as close as we want to 2 from the left and the right. So that's, part, that's what part C is asking about. All the other ones that we looked at, we saw we were going to the same place from the left and the right. That's what we need in order to have the limit exist. Here, at 1, the limit's not going to exist because we don't go to the same place from the left and the right.